Oh, hell yeah. Welcome to the podcast, Stop Crying Poser, greatest podcast known to man. You want to know why? This podcast is an excellent source of fiber, potassium, iron, zero trans fat, low in fat, no saturated fat, no cholesterol, sodium free, vegan, kosher, and it's 16 ounces, just like my dick. Welcome to the podcast. Who do we have in here? Back salad, front blonde, eye book boy, low key, smoking with Jesus, day day, Mikey Mo guy, just cam. Maybe a couple of others lurking in the shadows. Eric Sanchez, I appreciate those of you for tuning in live. Right now, the time is 3.40. We do this podcast every single Friday, right around 3.30 p.m. Pacific time, right here on twitch.tv slash Ninja Lifestyle. I have a lot of stuff to talk about, but all these topics today are kind of short. I wouldn't say it was... um, The week was filled with action, right? A lot of things happened, but none of it was really like conversation worthy. I ended up going to some new bars. I played some pool, kept it pretty low key, tried a couple of new drinks, made smash burgers. But as far as like funny stories of people watching, not so much today. I will tell you guys this. Today is the first day in Las Vegas, Nevada, my hometown. Uh, It's 80 eight degrees outside it's 78 degrees in my house and i finally broke down i had to turn on the air conditioner you may be thinking like well you should have held off a little bit longer yes you're right i probably could have held off another couple days but in this particular room especially when i'm streaming not only am i moving around animated the computer is making the room a little bit hotter so i got the fan on i got the computer heating me up and i went out there today to work on the skateboard ramp. By the way, I've been uploading mini ramp Mondays, even though those get uploaded on Fridays. It's weird now, right? Mini ramp Monday gets uploaded on flat bar Friday. I should change the names of those playlists, but they've been like that for so long. Anyways, I've been doing a lot of skateboarding in the backyard. The mini ramp is holding up very well. I have a handful of complaints. If you watched today's video, you watched me kind of roll my ankle a little bit the reason my ankle rolled is because there's a little planter next to the ramp that is shaped in a perfect shape to hurt you no matter how you fall if you fall and you try to slide across it it has lumps on it so you go do 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 if you hit it with your elbow or something sharp the edges are sharp so it can cut you open if if you land on your back or your knee it's going to cut you open and now brand new injury if my foot sort of like slides over it, it will catch my foot in this trap and then roll my ankle. So more things to do in the backyard immediately, right when I, uh, right before this podcast, the reason we were 10 minutes late, because I was out there installing floodlights, which I, listen, I guess generally installing the lights was kind of easy, but I didn't realize, listen, they gave me these lights there's no plug, just some wires coming out. So then I go on the internet, I'm like, okay, how do I make this into a plug? Because I want to plug it into a power strip. Another thing, by the way, guys, I was out there trying to get all this figured out the other day. And um, I know that sometimes the Twitch chat is trying to be helpful. But I feel like a lot of the times when you say things that don't solve my problem, it's not helpful. So when I say something like, okay, uh, this part of my roof is messed up. How can I fix it for under $20? And then a a classic Twitch response, get a new roof. And I go, well, yeah, I I could probably get some tar or I could get, you know, some, something to sheet over this, or I could get some roof shingles. No, 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 new roof. Do it the right way. Do it right the first time, get a new roof. And I go, okay, well the $20 just turned into $4,000. Where's this $4,000 gonna come from? I don't know, why are you asking me? Twitch goes, why are you asking me where $4,000 is gonna come from? I say, because I, because I want you to figure it out. I want you to understand why this is not helpful. I wanna slow down the conversation so that I can slowly explain why new roof is not helpful. But it, it never seems to translate over Twitch or over text. So the other night I, I got the power strip put in, I got it drilled into the wall. It's uh, it's it's covered. First off, I live in a place where it rains a half inch every three years, uh, except for this year. It was kind of crazy. And I have this power strip, number one, not plugged in. 
it's it's only getting power through a an extension cord that, that is never attached to it and it has an on off switch so also even if it was plugged in it would still be off no current would be going through it and it's covered by a roof there's a roof on top of it for about three feet to where water can't get to it okay I, I'm, I'm summing up the story and of course first thing I get on twitch chat you know that's not rated for outdoors it could rain that's not rated for outdoors and I go yeah, well, my problem right now is is getting a three prong uh, a three prong plug from here to here because I this this plug needs a ground wire and this one doesn't. And they go not not for outdoor use, not for outdoor use. And I slowly explain, okay, well, uh, it's 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 covered, right? No water can get in here, and also it will never have current in it unless I'm actively skating. This will never just be left plugged in. Not it doesn't matter, won't work. And I'm like. That's not helpful. Not helpful. And then they then I they send me a link for something that costs a hundred dollars. I, I remember I was on Discord saying I need a floodlight, a single floodlight with a with a cord. That's it. A single floodlight with a cord. Keith sends me a three hundred dollar floodlight. I go no no no. I need something made by by a little Asian boy that I, that will cost four dollars and I know it exists. I've seen it at the dollar store. And they go, oh well. And then I give you yeah, get solar panels. Get solar panels on your roof. Get, yeah, okay. How much is one giant solar? Oh, a thousand dollars each. Yeah, get, get solar panels. Th that'll help you get lights to your ramp. I go. Oh, okay. Our budget has gone from four dollars to four thousand dollars, just like the roof situation. Very helpful. Very helpful. And I, that, that's just it. I just, I just, I, I. <laughs> it's not helpful. H here's the thing. Every time that everyone thinks that they're helping me. Here's here's how I here's how I prove that I am a, the genius in the bunch. I always get the job done for the price I expected. The job still gets done for four dollars. The job still gets done for twenty dollars. Everyone who thinks that they helped didn't. None of it was helpful. So like it's one of those things where it's like, well, if you don't do it my way, you're gonna regret it. Oh really? So every home improvement project. For the past five years that I've done on stream, I've regretted any of those. I took a shortcut on all of them. I bought all my shit for cheap Chinese parts from Amazon. Have I regretted anything? You guys try to get me with all this. I'm shopping at the pawn shop, the the, the thrift store. Everyone thinks they're gonna get me. Like, uh, yeah, 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 that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Okay, cool. Well, guess what? The wire that I used, a dollar ninety nine. The lights that I used, nine bucks. What 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 happened? Where, where's the the four hundred dollar option? Okay, anyways, so that's all completely done. Uh, it's getting really hot out there. The whole reason that uh, that we're doing the backyard lights is so I can ride the skateboard ramp at night because I know that when the summer heat hits, it's uh, it's going to be next to impossible to be out there. And I think it'll be fun to light up the backyard a little bit so the dog can hang out there too. So that's. That's uh, that's gonna be fun. What else? My list is a little bit all over the place today. Usually I number these topics, but uh, we didn't number them. I do want to give you guys a quick update. I'm excited for the heat because I was telling you guys once it gets up to about 110 out here, the Colorado River gets really warm, so we can jump off the cliffs into the river. You guys remember my bucket list, right? My my New Year's resolution this year. Does anyone remember what that was? Four short months ago, I said I'm gonna cook with my friends more eat more food with my friends, spend more time hanging out, you know, not just drinking and gambling, spend more time like watching fights, watching sports, sitting on the couch. You know what the fourth one was? The fourth, the, the fourth, <laughs> the fourth thing that we wanted to do, double backflip into the water. At some point, I'm gonna have to grow some nuts and do the double backflip into the water. Moving on. Uh, I was telling you guys all my topics are out of order, so they are going to be all over the place. The plan for probably Sunday or Monday, meal prep, live on Twitch. We're going to make um, bean and chicken uh, frozen burritos. We make 20 at a time. I make the chicken. I make these beans. 15 types of beans. Maybe even 16 types of beans. They all come together. They're very cheap. I soak them in water, they all expand, I cook them, then I mash them down with this masher, and then they turn into like 
It, it, they look like refried beans. They turn into like a bean paste. Then I add the chicken. I add a ton of enchilada sauce. Then I add a little bit of like pre-made salsa. I'm going to use Miss Renfro's ghost pepper salsa. Just maybe like a third of a jar. Add that in there. Mix it all together. Get it hot again. Then I put a ton of cheese on top of my big, my big pan. Ton of cheese goes on top. Wait for the cheese to just barely melt. Barely let the cheese melt. Just a little bit. And I scoop them all up and put them into frozen burritos. And I can get 20 out of that. I'll, I'll, listen, I'll get 18 because I'll eat two. I'm not the best burrito folder. It usually, I, I start folding. I make a mistake on the first one. I say, well, that one's for me. I make a mistake on the second one. I go, well, I guess I'll eat two. Then by the third one, I get, I re-remember my burger, my burger, my my folding technique. Well, I'm also going to be talking about burgers in a minute here. Burgers on the brain. So yeah, we'll roll those up, get them frozen. They're really good. They got the same texture as a Del Taco burrito. So for some of you, that might really gross you out. I kind of like the Del Taco shit, man. It's a, it's a more of a floppy burrito. It's more of a floppy Jimmy of a burrito. So that's uh, that's on the schedule here. I got a new hot sauce the other day that was actually recommended by someone here in the Twitch chat. By the way, we do this podcast on Fridays, but we also stream here on Twitch five, sometimes six days a week. And it could be video games, kind of. Oftentimes, it's just us playing Quiplash, joking with each other, these free games. Anyone can play and participate. Uh, or we're just watching YouTube videos, learning how to cook, learning how to go fishing, learning how to build a tent, uh, learning about just random bullshit, you know, just just clicking, just mindless bullshit here on Twitch. Like to do that. And then once I get this new monitor, oh boy, the sky's the limit. Also, uh, gambling. You guys like gambling? I be gambling on stream all the time. You guys like uh, pool? You guys like billiards? Follow, subscribe, send money. Anyways, the new hot sauce I got is called Melinda's... Fuck, I already forgot. I think it's Melinda's ghost pepper sauce. I got it at Walmart, so it's it's all over the place. I've seen... They have five or six different uh, flavors, and someone recommended it to me, and I don't know why I never got it before, or maybe I did and I just don't remember, but the sauce is great. I would say it's a 10 out of 10 sauce, especially considering that you want to get these these small batch sauces off of, like, the internet, and uh, you pay, you know, 10 bucks for the bottle. Okay, fine, 10 bucks for the bottle, like, big deal. Then you pay 10 bucks for shipping, and you go, oh, fuck, I just spent $20 on one bottle of hot sauce and then you it's not worth it there's not there's no hot sauce that's worth that much money so uh i don't know melinda sauce if you guys are into very hot sauces check it out it's not going to kill you but if you're not super like if you're not into the hot sauce world it's going to be very hot so it's a it's a great it's a great place to start if um if that's what you want to get into what else been going i started going to this new bar called bourbon street we actually streamed it the other day. It's a bar that has, ah, it's hard to call it a bar because the bartender, listen, at a regular bar, the bartender kind of, they want to make money off you, All right? They have things to do. They stay busy. They clean. They want to make money off you. At Bourbon Street, they're kind of just there just because someone needs to be there. <laughs> they, um... They don't have to give you drinks if, if you, they don't want to. They're allowed to be dicks to you. They're going to ask you for your ID every single time. You cannot sit at the bar. You must sit away from the bar. But uh, you can gamble. And then on the other side of the bar, big sports book wall with uh, all the sports odds going by and big, big, giant projector screens. You can watch, you know, sports, uh, basketball, football, hockey, whatever you got, UFC. And then all around the walls is pictures of half-naked chicks. Every every portion of the wall. I don't know how to explain this. Every picture is like, you know, like 10 by 10 picture, right? Or whatever, just a regular picture. And every every other picture is a chick covering her tits like this. And then you add up all the pictures. There's probably 10,000 pictures in this one room. So you, there's always just fun shit to look at everywhere. And then uh, they got couches. And then they got games. What do you mean by games? I mean, yeah, slot machines. Sure, you can play slot machines. You can play your Buffalo game. But also, you got a basketball, a basketball hoop. You can play basketball. They got a, a car ride. You put in these tokens. You drive the car. How do you get tokens? Well, there's two ways to get tokens. You either, you either just get 
change for your tokens, like put in a dollar, tokens come out. Or every time you buy a drink, sometimes they give you tokens for that as well. And those tokens can be spent on the games, on a game of pool, on a game of foosball, game of basketball. Uh, what else do they got in there? They used to have a jukebox, but no more jukebox. Anyway, it's a pretty fun place. And have you guys heard of these small drinks called Beatbox? I don't know. I keep thinking they're associated with Avril, but I don't know if that's true. But there's these little beatboxes, and they sell those there for three fifty. Now a beatbox at the at the store is probably three fifty already, so that's an insane price, three fifty for that. If I was to get one of their specialty drinks at this bar, it's eight dollars. It's eight dollars for about two shots. For three fifty, I can get a beatbox, which is about two beers, for the price of three fifty. A lot of these gaming establishments, they will never let you like win based on drinks right they're always going to make money off the drinks because most bars if you get a beer for four dollars you're getting kind of a good deal here although if you're gambling your beer's free which which then in turn makes your beer twenty dollars but then again your beer might win you two hundred dollars any, anything could happen anyways i feel like they're either a gonna get rid of the beatbox in that place because uh there's no like markup, right? Or they're gonna raise the price. So stay tuned for that. It's uh, Day Day says it's like Dave and Buster's. It's kind of like Dave and Buster's, but gambling. I, I don't think there's gambling at Dave and Buster's. Maybe there is, but uh, it's it's Dave and Buster's mixed with a casino, and it's not like two rooms. Also, Dave and Buster's, you can go in there if you're not 21. You cannot walk. You cannot step foot in this place if you're not 21. Anyways, what else we got going on? Smash burgers. So what? Two, three years ago, my friend Ward, for my birthday or for Christmas, he got me a Nintendo Switch. I said, Ward, I don't play video games like that. He says, what do you mean? I said, well, you got me a Nintendo Switch and you got me Mario Maker. He goes, yeah, I see you play those Kaizo games. This is just like that. And I go, <laughs> oh, you silly man. This is not the same as what I play. This is a whole different bitch. This is not the same. This is this what you have in your hand is amateur hour. I'm playing against the professionals. So anyways, he goes, Well, what am I gonna do? Take it back? I said, Yeah, take it back. He says, Well, what do you want instead? I said, Give me a grill. So what do you mean give me a grill? I said, anything but Mario. Comes back, brings me a black stone. Got the grill going. The first thing I wanted to do was smash burgers because we watch so many Smash Burger videos. We watch those. Well, we've probably watched 30 hours of Smash Burger videos. So I get out there, man. I feel like I'm an expert. I was an expert, by the way. We made Smash Burgers. We made the Oklahoma Onion Burgers. Then the second day, we made them with cheese. Toasted the buns. You're not supposed to toast the buns. I don't give a fuck. Um, made a burger sauce. Simple burger sauce. Basically, I did what a regular burger sauce would do. Except instead of ketchup, tapatio. Boom. You have ninja sauce. Uh, well, it's, it's a work in, listen, I don't know if you guys want ninja sauce. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna work on that name. Maybe not ninja sauce. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, so you, you get the patty, you put it in there, you drop a fucking mountain of onions on it, you crush it down. This fucker cooks only like 30 seconds to a minute. Nothing. Flip it over, 30 more seconds, it's done. A hamburger done in one minute? Crazy. Toast the buns, get your burger sauce on there. Boom, handing them out. I can make them quick. Only thing is, you know, it's, I gotta get my work area figured out. I gotta get a little, I might build a little stand. I gotta build a little stand to, uh, to, to set shit on. Because so far it's not, it's not working out anyway. Smash burgers were great, man. If you guys have access to a flat top or even a cast iron, uh, if you have a cast iron and an outdoor grill, you could do it inside. You might get a little smoky, right? You can go outdoors, especially if you have a grill that you can close the grill onto the cast iron. That way it gets heat heated from the top and the bottom. Your cast iron gets ripping hot. Boom! You're in there. That's the only thing I haven't been able to do yet is although this flat top gets very hot, it doesn't get what I would call ripping hot. It gets hot enough to turn uh, canola oil into smoke, 
but I want it hotter, man. I want to I want to see how far we can push this shit. So the Smash Burst is going great. Speaking of food, uh, tomorrow, no, not tomorrow, tonight, I'm gonna be eating a fake steak. I don't know, man. I know. What are you? What am I thinking? Fake steak. Who wants to eat a steak made out of fake? I don't know. Fitnoid recommended I check it out. She, I was going to make them for both of us, but she's out of town, and they're going to go bad soon. So I got these two, quote, steaks. Honestly, they look like thick bologna. They're made from mushrooms. It says cook it seven minutes on one side, seven minutes on the other side. I'm going to throw a bunch of seasonings on it. We're going to pray to God. Um, I'll either do that. I'll either do like a steak salad, or I'll do steak and uh, powdered mashed potatoes. Because I don't have the real mashed potatoes right now. I don't have real potatoes right now. But I am growing a potato in my backyard. So don't sleep on me. I got a potato growing in the backyard. I got a little box built around it. Because I guess what potatoes do. I'm new to the potato game. What potatoes do is they grow up and out. But every time they reach the surface, you have to rebury it. So I'm like, I keep burying this shit. And it keeps growing faster and faster. So now I have a mound a mound of soil just around it. And I put some pieces of wood to block it up. So maybe one day, one day when I'm old enough, we will have the pleasure and privilege of eating a homemade uh, mashed potato. <laughs> I almost said mac and cheese. Maybe I should do mac and cheese tonight, huh? We did a lot of mac and cheese experimentations this week because of Twitch. We were watching this guy called Binging with Babish. He tried like 20 different types of boxed mac and cheese, and he rated them all, like which, which one is the best. So I found the best one on his list, and it happened to be on sale at my grocery store, $1.40 per box. It's pretty good, I, I would say. Grabbed some of those. It was Annie's. It was Annie's White Cheddar. Oh, there was one that said like Annie's something and Parmesan. I couldn't find that one. But I found the, uh, the White Cheddar with the small shells. It was great. Turned out good. Is it the best mac and cheese I've ever had in my life? No, because listen, mac and cheese from restaurants, I don't know what they're doing that makes it different. Maybe they're just adding way more fat, but mac and cheese from the restaurants is just bomb, dude. If you can get like a bacon mac and cheese, or if you're at like a steakhouse, sometimes they'll do like a truffle mac, or bacon's the main one, dude, right? Or lobster mac and cheese. Like, if you, there's a lot of ways you can jazz up a mac and cheese, but I don't think that there's not a whole lot you can do to the mac and cheese that comes in a box. But maybe I'm wrong. What do you guys do? What is your guys' technique? Like, you can throw a bunch of butter in there. I threw some cream. I threw some Mexican cream in mine. It worked out okay. You can throw the cheese powder, cheese sauce, whatever you got, but there's no amount of butter that's going to make that feel like it's homemade. Also... I like it when it's thick, boy. I like it when it gets real thick. When <laughs> I like it when when you put your spoon in there, you get that. <laughs> I want to, I want the spoon to bend when I go in there. I, as a kid, bad memories too. I used to eat the soupy mac and cheese. What do you mean soupy? I mean when you drain it, there's some water gets left in. Come on, man, it's too soupy. This, the mac and cheese, I should be able to put it on my spoon. Not, not that this is a requirement, but this is great. If, if I can put on my spoon and turn my spoon sideways and then turn it back and there's still mac and cheese on it, like, oh, like it defies gravity. If you have mac and cheese that would defy gravity, I feel like that's, that's the texture I'm looking for. But who knows? Also, sometimes the mac and cheese, right, you cook it and it gets a little, it gets room temperature. Then it gets, then it gets like a little harder. And you're like, oh, damn, like, not gonna complain about this, but then it gets cold and you're like, oh shit, this now this sucks. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> Riveting stuff, Ninja Lifestyle. Great podcast. He talked about mac and cheese for fucking 15 straight minutes and then uh and told me he's gonna eat fake steak. Alright, you guys ready for a trivia question? The only podcast on the entire internet that gives away free Ninja Lifestyle sticker packs every single Friday. We give things away. There's no one else in the history of the internet that gives away as much shit as me. You guys don't even need to leave a tip or anything. Today's trivia question is related to beans. Name five types of beans. Go. 
First one to answer this correctly, and I have a list of beans right in front of me. First one to answer this correctly gets Ninja Lifestyle stickers shipped directly to your house as long as you live in America. Am I right? Who else gives away as much shit as me? Name five types of beans. You can do it. Zero answers. Lima, Pinto, Black, Kidney, and Brown. Sean, you just won yourself a goddamn... You're my goddamn hero, Sean. You're the champion. You're the only one that answered. What, does everyone just hate beans? Lima, guava, chickpea, nuts, jelly. Jelly. I would not have accepted jelly, although I... I applaud your creativity. <laughs> Runner, refried, baked, yellow, and brown. I don't know if I would accept refried either, because that's, <laughs> I guess that's a type of bean, like, meal. But there's no bean that grows in the ground called a refried bean. <laughs> Anyways, was somebody trying to look it up? Day Day was looking it up. The, some of these, look, if you're a bean expert, I don't know if, if this has ever, like... <laughs> This has maybe never come up in your lives before, but if you're a bean expert, you just, today was the right day to be watching. I remember one day I was a kid, somebody said, you know what scuba stands for? I said, no, I don't know what scuba stands for. And they said, self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. And I said, oh, self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. Wow. I'm going to never need to know that, but I'm going to remember it. Guess what, motherfucker? One day on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, guess what motherfucking question came up? Yeah, you do the math. What else do we got going on here? Uh, that's all I got for like what's happened during the week. I told you it was kind of a lackluster group of notes for the podcast here, but I will tell you about some shows that I've been watching and rewatching. I rewatched from beginning to the end Breaking Bad, uh, not including the El Camino, like uh, part two movie, whatever. And I'm going to be honest with you, not as good as I remember. The storyline kind of corny and dumb but i will tell you this and there's a couple of actors that are terrible but the main guy that plays walter white and then the guy that plays jesse oh they are pretty good actors man you gotta take your hat off to those guys they saved the whole show although the characters you know it's it's got to be cartoony right then again if you go back and watch like ozark ozark i, I don't really I've never compared them, maybe on stream, or or really thought about it. Ozark follows the exact same process as Breaking Bad. You know, it's always like, I'm almost out, then I'm in. I'm almost out, then I'm in, add a twist. I'm almost out, then I'm in, add a twist, kill a major character. I'm almost out, then I'm in, kill a major character, add a twist. And it, it's just that, every over the course of every three episodes, it follows that exact recipe so uh the second time watching it I, I don't know if i appreciate it more or less because i don't remember how much i appreciated it initially but i will tell you this as for watching something that you've already watched before and not getting bored of it i would say it must be a pretty good show so if you guys haven't seen it maybe check it out if you don't like it by like the third episode then you know you're not gonna like it so uh whatever pretty good uh it also the last two episodes seemed to me not that anyone cares to debate this seems really rushed right they were like oh fuck we gotta end this season uh what are we gonna do a uh, giant shootout where every character dies oh we can do that yeah yeah just just write it write it in write it in the script oh are you sure everyone yep everyone <laughs> Yeah, that way, that way there'll never be a sequel. But then, of course, they left Saul alive. And then there was a sequel. And then there was another sequel. Um, I've heard a lot of people say they liked Better Call Saul more. I did not. The whole character, like, the whole uh, Saul's brother angle was so boring and lame. Um, anyways, uh, what else did I see? Oh, did you guys see UFC last week? Potentially knockout of the year, knockout of the decade. Max Holloway knocks out Justin Gaethje with one second left in a fight that he was already winning in an extremely dramatic fashion where he points down at the center of the octagon and says, let's fucking fight right now. And then they throw wild haymakers until Justin Gaethje goes completely unconscious, face plants down. With one second left in a fight that you're already winning against one of the hardest hitters. What is it, in the division? What are they fighting at? Are they fighting at one? 
What are they fighting at? 185? 170 probably. Maybe it was a catchweight. Oh yeah, it's 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 bad motherfucker belt. God, what a fucking stupid thing. Anyways, um, I don't think UFC 300 turned out to be what people wanted it to be, but I will tell you this. If you came to my house for UFC 300, you know what you got? A motherfucking smash burger. And that's that'll make any pay-per-view worth it. What else have I been watching? I watched this show on Netflix, number one show right now called Unlocked jail experiment let me explain the premise if this is something you guys would watch super reality show right tons of um camera equipment tons of people holding cameras like when i watch these shows i i always i can't help but think of it from a production standpoint like when you have two people whispering but the microphone can pick it up i i suddenly think to myself oh yeah both of these guys have microphones attached to their collar and then a little box attached to their pocket. So so this is kind of like staged, right? Most of it is kind of staged. And, uh, you know, when, when you have two prisoners acting like they're doing something secretive, like making pruno or, or lighting a cigarette or something, it can't be that secretive when there's a sound guy and a camera on somebody's shoulder in the same room. So then I go, oh, kind of staged. But... Um, it still is jail. So it's kind of like half staged, half not staged. I wonder how that works, by the way. Hey, a bunch of, hey, a bunch of people in jail. You want to be on a TV show? I feel like a lot of people would be like, no, I'm in jail. I don't want to be on a TV show. But, uh, here's what happened in the show. I didn't even explain it yet. So in this particular jail, they're locked down 23 hours a day and they come out for one hour to eat. And then they're locked down 23 hours. And they get one celly, so you have your celly, and you can kind of talk to each other through the walls, but there's no contact. There's no games. There's no playing chess. There's no, there's no, uh, you know, walking in circles for exercise. There's no hanging out in another like little area. You you can't go to somebody else's cell and hang out and play cards or nothing. So uh, so what they did was they said, they said we're gonna do an experiment. The, the way they phrased it was like the mayor. The mayor of the city comes in and goes, hey, I'm the mayor. We're going to do an experiment with your jail. This is the very first pod we're going to test it out on. We are going to open every single cell. You guys are going to be have, have open. You guys are going to be allowed to do whatever you want for what I forgot what it was, like 20 hours a day. So instead of only having one hour a day, you now have 20 hours a day. And we're going to move all the guards, all the guards that are in the pod right now. They will now only come once an hour. So you guys get absolute privacy to do whatever you want. There will be cameras on you, and people will still be watching you, but you can do whatever you want. Everyone goes, yes, cool. But then they go, but if you get in a fight, if there's one fight on this pod, everyone gets locked up, even if the fight wasn't you. If that guy gets in a fight, everyone gets locked up. Everyone goes right back in their fucking cell, and we're in the pod, and experiment is over. And I go, oh, neat idea. I go, cool idea right? Forces them to have a sense of community. If one person does something stupid, it affects everyone. If one person threatens to do something stupid, everyone now hates you and now you're a target. So, um, it's an interesting idea. And I, I did, I watched the whole like eight episodes of it. So it, it's, it's better than jail shows that I typically watch. But I also had a thought, <laughs> I had a thought like, uh, in jail, these guys got meth they have opiates, they have weed, they have everything they need to make alcohol. And my only thought was, we need to get these boys some hot sauce. <laughs> they need hot sauce, okay? Like you put me in jail, okay, cool. Like what, what am I gonna miss the most? Pussy, I guess. And then carne asada fries and then hot sauce. And that's it. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't say that's it. Anyways, uh, the show is kind of cool. If that sounds like something you guys might be interested in, go check it out. Uh, it's going to rain on Friday. Oh, no, all my electrical equipment's going to get wet. <laughs> no, it's not. It won't get wet, and it won't be plugged in anyways. Um, I'm going to have to buy a new tarp. The tarp that I have sucks. And before that rain happens, I'm going to have to pull out these little these these pavers. Because the same thing that rolled my ankle today, which you guys can see in today's skate video, the same thing that rolled my ankle today 
it helps the ramp collect water. So if I can get rid of that, it will put the ramp lower in less water. So a couple of good things. What do you guys got going on? What do you guys got planned for the weekend? I don't ask you guys enough what you got going on. The reason is when I do this podcast, a lot of people don't watch the video. They don't have access to looking at the chat or reading all the names. So when I try to respond to the chat at all, I try to name the person by name. And it can't just be like when somebody would be like, hey, uh, what'd you do yesterday? And then I just answer it because people listening to the podcast would be, would be like, where did this answer prompt come from? So if you guys got any cool plans, I was going to go to baseball today. My friend invited me to a AAA baseball game. Starts at 7. Right now it's 4. But I want to play a little bit of video games with you guys. I got to fix some shit in the backyard. I'm, maybe he's going to start doing laundry. I got to cook some food. Uh, clean up a little bit. I might try and paint the ramp in the backyard. Just like all these little errands that I've been putting off. I have to lift weights still. All these little errands I've been putting off. And today I'm kind of being a little bit more responsible, I guess. Maybe not responsible, but... I'm putting myself in my place like, oh, yeah, you could go have fun and watch baseball with your buddies and get drunk and spend money. Or I have a list of things I want to get done. Or you can cross off two or three of those things on your list and go hang out with those motherfuckers next time. Yeah, I can still drink a beer here. I don't need to be at the baseball stadium. So uh, so that's my idea. The only one to answer me for what they're doing this weekend is uh, I book boy says cinema Amy Winehouse film Amy Winehouse. Good for you. Well. That's all I got for the podcast. Go ahead and give me a oh, hell, yeah. If you enjoyed the podcast, if you tuned in late, don't worry. The the repeat of this podcast comes out on Sundays. Every single Sunday, early in the morning, just in time for your drive to work. And it comes out on the platforms, YouTube, Podbean, iTunes, Spotify, podcast app, Anywhere where typical podcasts can be found, you guys can find our podcast there. Also, you can catch me live, twitch.tv slash ninja lifestyle. On uh, Fridays, we do this podcast, 3.30 p.m. Pacific time. But we also stream on Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and sometimes other days. Tonight, I might bring out my streaming phone. We'll stream some games of pool. I know those are sometimes not the most exciting things to stream, but you know what? Maybe you guys are bored. Maybe you would just be sitting at home watching TV anyway. So I'm down to kick it. Shout out to iBookBoy, Cam, and Guy. It just looks like we lost a lot of viewers today. Maybe I'm not that interesting, huh? Any lurkers in here? Guy, just Kusta, Cam, Eric, Jason, Loki, Mikey, Punk Rock, Quixotic, Rovest, Sean, Farts, Tuesday. You guys couldn't give me a hell yeah? Fine. Keep your hell yeah. Keep it to yourself. Have a great weekend, everyone. As I always say, don't drink too much and don't drink too little. Hey, my, uh, my sink... It's leaking a little bit. It has a little couple of drips. Is there any way I can fix that for under five dollars? Yeah. Oh yeah. Get a whole. Get a new house. Idiot. Get a whole new house. I'm helping. Duh.